<laughs> well, if you're getting ready to do some shopping this weekend, how about a small business Saturday round two? Yes, and our yes. dear friend Stephanie Pina Frost is here, owner of Princess Thank and the you. Monkey, mm -hmm. and round up some really great ornaments, not only that you can make, but also from local businesses. Right. Everything you see here was made by a local artisan and only available at the, at the local holiday markets around town. Okay. So it's so, truly local. So before we show off those wares, yes. we're going to start with a DIY ornament. Exactly. So one of the big things has been people buying ornaments for gifts. And so this is a fun way to do a craft. That way you and your kids can do it. Um, it's super simple. I picked up these at a local craft store. And then you just take your paint pins and you write your little message on it, and it's super easy. And these come pre-drilled, pre-painted. Pre-painted with everything. the string attached, so that okay. makes it so much, so so much easier. So as y'all are doing that, we can uh, go ahead and talk a little bit about the ornaments that um, that I have. And like I said, these are all that I've seen at markets that I've watched people buy and heard the stories about why they're doing it. And um, majority of these can also be personalized by the makers too. So it makes it a really kind of fun gift. Um, a, a, fun, a fun gift to give and, and to buy. So, um, so what do I, we got first? So Ooh, first, first, of course, um, uh, it's one of my ornaments that I actually do, and it's a hand painted glass ornament with um, with blue bonnets on it. Blue bonnets have been really, really good and special, especially for out of town guests uh, when you're giving it an out of town gift. The next one is a Texas blue bonnet on on oh. a on a copper wire. Yes. So, sorry, yeah, so on, on the copper wire, and it makes a great sun catcher for afterwards. Um, so they can use it, keep it up is. all year round. It's beautifully done, and once again, all handmade. The next one is from um, I Love You Mucho, and um, those are uh, also painted on, on wood disc, and then some reusing of some metal tins, and those are all hand painted with the cactus motif. Ooh. You know, and the nice thing, and you said these can be personalized too. Now they wouldn't do it at the right. They wouldn't do it there. You would have okay. to order it, and then they would send it to you, get it to you. But you can put the date. You can put somebody's name on it. You can kind of put any. You know, they can definitely work with you on what they're doing to um, to customize it for you. You might want to use a bigger one after she's done with it because it looks like I didn't prime that one. Oh, oh. okay, that's uh, fine. And so, okay, and then the next one um, we have, it's from another local artist, uh, I Am Creating, and she spe specializes in the um, Mexican style folk art paintings. And so we have a really cool uh, Spurs inspired concha. Mm, and then we have cool a heart that has a Mexican folk art painting on it as well. And those are so much fun. People absolutely love that. And all of that is hand painted. It's not stenciled. Wow. It's nothing like that. So wow. it's all hand done. And it's a very painstaking um, uh, process. You know, and the nice thing about ornaments, too, it, it's almost like going through then, when you give an ornament or mm -hmm. get one, going through a scrapbook. Because every year when you decorate, we do this, you say, oh, I remember this one, oh, I remember mm -hmm. this one. This. Yes. So, if, so if you do have a special ornament, like if you want to make, and this exactly. would be perfect for, oh. for, for <laughs> Fiona. It's a very perfect one for her. Oh, okay, there look you go. Oh. It's, very, it's so lovely, Mike. You need to put the that date way she'll on remember it. Me. You need the oh, year. On our tree at home, it's actually four generations of ornaments. Oh, really? So we have a family tree, and that's one of the, oh, the wow. big trends this year is a nostalgic tree of um, family ornaments that you've kind of collected throughout the years. And once again, these all here make perfect ones because you can say they're handmade, they're not store bought. Should they're I put priceless. my name on the back in case you forget who it came from? I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. so, just, just <laughs> so then we have from Pink Cat Designs the Chola and Chola, very San Antonio, <laughs> very, very San Antonio. And then we have um, these beautiful resin art ones from Sassy Sense of Birth. And so she does beautiful work with the resin. Now, mm -hmm. as, as far as some of the markets coming up here mm -hmm. on your website, do you have like a list of various uh, markets I, and things? I, I do have a list of the, definitely the ones that I'm going to be at. But there's so many out there. There's one at the Woody this weekend. There's um, I'm at a market in Bernie. Um, that you have the Pearl Holiday Market that's on Wednesdays. You have one at Hemisphere next weekend that's all weekend long. You have, there's just a bunch of different great holiday gift markets going on right now. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yay. For more information on Princess and the Monkey Home Decor and all these shops, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.